Here's my vintage 96, 97. Lasco Breeze machine with the little squiggly K on it. I bought this fan brand new at Savons back in the day. Way back in uh, 96, 97. And Savons was still around before they changed over to CBS. I bought it at that time. It was brand spanking new. Had in the collection all these years. This thing is definitely vintage. It is definitely an old fan. Yes, it still works. Even though it's made in China, they made some good stuff back then. Today they make garbage. Okay, I do have the newer version of this, and it's a little bit weaker than this one. I will have a comparison video with this soon. So it lost most of its feet. It only has one right here. Can't see it too good. I'm sorry that the camera's causing a focus freak show. That's not my problem. But you can see it right here. The lighting is terrible. It's not my problem. The camera don't want to act right. It's acting like a bow. But you can see it right there. It's only have one. Then you have that one missing, that one missing, that one missing. And then you have the original dark blue knob missing. Where you still have the original knob right here. Lost that knob some time ago at work. When I was using this at work. Everybody got used it at work. It was greatly used down there. And then the little feet started missing down there. Then I recently brought it home. When I say recently, I don't mean just now. I'm talking about way back then. I recently brought it home from work and it's been here ever since. But I've been using it down there along with everybody else using it. It used to be used in my dad's office. But then I just said, you know what? It's time for me to bring it back home back then. Well, does it still run? Well, yeah, what are you thinking? It's vintage. Of course it runs. Well, we're just asking because it's been out of service for a long time. No, but it's vintage. It's not like today's modern junk that sits around for a long time and it breaks on you. Back then, stuff didn't do that because they cared about the customer and they cared about the product. So back then, stuff didn't do that. So, yeah, let's see it run. Here we go. And it has navy blue blades. The blades are not royal blue. It's navy blue. at full power. You should be able to hear the wind stream. I'm not going to run it on low. I'm only going to run it on high for the sake of the video. I'm not one to be a vintage fan collector. I bought this when it was brand new back then. And it just became vintage because I've had it all these decades, all these years. That's why it's now vintage. Just because it's now vintage, I bought it brand new back then, doesn't mean I'm a vintage fan collector. No, that means this fan just got old and now it's considered vintage. A lot of air too. These fans, even back then, was known for air restriction. Sometimes if the blades got really dirty, it would cause air restriction, and it wouldn't want to put out no air. That's because the blades are dirty. But once you clean the fan up, then of course it's going to move air. It's like any fan would do that. All right, spin it down. After all these years, from '96. All the way up until today. It's now vintage and it still burns. Just like it did when I first got it. And interestingly enough, get this. 
I have never oiled it since the day I bought it. And it did get used a lot. And not once did it ever need oil. I have not oiled this since the day I bought it. That's how good fans was back then. Today, it's not like that anymore. It's awful. Thanks for watching. Hunt the fan man. More to come soon. And out.